What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna try this a third time. We are going to rewrap my mirrors, take three, um, because I got a photo shoot with Spoke Photo tomorrow, and I'm gonna prep for that. So in order to wrap my mirrors properly, um, I'm gonna take off my door cards because the mirrors are electric mirrors and they're heated, and so they have a cable or a like wiring connector that comes through a little hole in the door here and then down and it plugs in somewhere here behind the door card. So we're gonna pull out both my door cards and then we're gonna pull the mirrors off and then we're gonna just take them inside and wrap them from the comfort of my gaming room. And that's pretty much it. So now we'll go inside and wrap the mirrors. I guess for anyone who actually does have a Vigor, I know there's not many of you. Um, literally all you need to take the dark door cards off is like two tools. Probably a nice flat screwdriver or something to get this piece out from behind your door handle. I used this guy. And then the rest is just Phillips screws two here there's one underneath your door handle and one at the very back corner and then other than that it's just clips so they all just pry out and then you have to lift it you have to lift it up off the seam of the door so some little tips for you I'll just throw some tape on here since thievers can't get me tonight. They're protected. Cars look so weird without mirrors. <laughs> Just looks funny. Guys, I need a lot of mental preparation to wrap these things, okay? They're not fun to wrap, and I honestly don't know how I'm still gonna wrap them. Like, what is this? Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's just get rolling on this thing. Okay, so I'm getting somewhere. Good or bad yet? I don't know. So the main mirror and edges look really good. But when it comes to tucking it, I still need to get that sorted out. So far going okay though. So I'm just gonna continue. But to get to this point, it's literally taking me like, I don't know, nearly two hours already makes a big friggin difference though on the car like when i wrap just the caps um before driven and before they started peeling up anyway um it looked like so much better to have the mirrors matching the car so this is gonna look sick when it's actually on the car and staying on the car so definitely like far from perfect and there's some not great spots like this inner shitty tucking so one down after like three hours it seems like <laughs> so i'm gonna do the second one and then we'll throw them on in the morning and then i'll go to the car wash and then i'll clean the car again there we go 
I guess it's not too bad. It's only one in the morning. Got both of the mirrors wrapped. They're not amazing if you look close, just like the rest of the car, but it's all right for now. Still learning. Overall, they came out pretty good. So I'll throw them on the car in the morning and then we'll see what they look like. All right guys, so it is the next day and just like I said yesterday, we're gonna take these mirrors, we're gonna put them on and then we're gonna check out how it looks. And then after that, I'm just gonna clean the car and uh, we will go meet up with Spoke Photo in a few hours. For this thing being from 1994, Seriously has everything. Heated seats, electric mirrors, heated mirrors, sunroof, electric locks. It was top of the line, I tell you. Cruise control. Like it has things that I've had newer cars that don't even have these things. Well, this thing doesn't even have these things. Luxury, bruh. So in pulling this all apart, I actually fixed a problem on this door because I realized that the door on this side when you open the handle from the inside is like hard to open the door and i think literally the only issue was that this rod connects to the inside of the door handle and it goes into this plastic clip it was not clipped into that plastic clip so with this being loose it's a little bit harder to actuate the uh, latch so I just made sure that it was clipped into that thing when I put it back together. And it seemed like it fixed that issue. So, sweet. Did the mirrors fix another problem? Well, makes a big difference, I think. Now that it's matching the car. Like, that looks pretty good. Nice. All right, let's go. Get a photo shoot of this thing. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. I guess the upper part of this parkade is like closed today so this is where we were gonna come shoot but we'll have to find another spot car is looking pretty slick though aside from this stupid freaking it's got a big ass pimple right here see that and like I tried to pop it but probably what happened is what happened when I was wrapping the car where and sorry for the noise, there's a friggin' train right there. But I think what happened is that uh, there was probably primer peel here because that's what was happening when I was wrapping the car was that some spots, um, the primer was like peeling off as I was wrapping it. So then the primer sticks to the wrap and you can't rewrap it. Like you need a new piece of wrap in order to wrap over that. Um, so yeah. So that bugs me, but anyway, we'll just chill here and we'll wait for, uh, I think his name's Micah. And then we'll probably find a new spot to go shoot because of this lame.
sound right, boy. Super hyped to see how this shoot turns out. Tony Turbo Jitsu. You're getting some picks too. You're gonna get some picks of both our cars. That's sweet. Man, this thing's so cool. So there's like a bunch of people here for like wedding wedding shoots or something. And got an old 1962 rolls up here. Got this Mach 1 Mustang. <sighs> Turned into a bigger shoot. sound right boy literally like I think it's got to be like two or three different weddings all came up here it's like we didn't crash a wedding the wedding crashed us hilarious that rolls is pretty cool His turning radius is so shit, he's doing like a million point turn. Just had some super good ramen from Tokyo Street Market. Probably just gonna end the video there. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.